Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Brendan here, back at you again with yet another video, and today what we gotta discuss is some LeVar Ball, Lonzo Ball, LiAngelo Ball, LaMelo Ball, the Ball family. We're talking about the Ball family and just some latest updates. Of course, me and Peter, we made this uh, commitment to where we wouldn't really comment on them unless it was something about their basketball career. And we got a couple new updates, and of course, we're, first of all, we're going to start with the person that's in the NBA, and that's Lonzo Ball. If you guys don't know, I'm probably going to put it over here, but he has a new jump shot. His, he has a new mid-range jump shot that looks more conventional, more confidence when he shoots it, and it was a great night for him. He was 7 of 8 for shooting, and it was really more because he decided to shoot more mid-range shots, which it looks like he's more of a mid-range shooter than he is a long-range shooter because that shot is very inconsistent compared to his mid-range. Obviously, this is probably going to be the new shot that he'll probably be working on and the new shot that he'll try to have in the future. Obviously, you can't predict that because it's, you know, muscle memory will tell you to shoot it back to the old ways and sometimes that just happens. But if he's able to have this new jump shot, which I just showed you, if that is the new jump shot that he has, I'm okay with it. I think it looks great. I think it's probably a jump shot that will look better than most the only problem with Lonzo really is his free throw shooting he's shooting less than 50 percent from the line and for a guard that's really bad or even just for any player in general just having someone that shoots less than 50 percent from the free throw line looks bad and the problem is is that his release on the free throw just looks so weird it doesn't even look good it looks like he's just really quick with it and that's kind of disappointing to me because I think in order to be one of the greats, in order to be a Jason Kidd even, you have to make sure that your free throws are in line and at least make it 75% or higher. I'm only asking for 75%. And in all honesty, it probably should be 80. You should be 80% and above your guard, in my opinion. Because I think that's mainly what guards really do is shoot the ball, especially if you're playing the two. But, you know, Lonzo plays the one. But anytime, I just expect all my guards to shoot at least 80%. And we're going to see what goes on from here. But... Other than that, Lonzo Ball, like I said, debuted a new shot. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Also, remember to hit that like button and subscribe button as well while you're at it. And let's move on to another person in the family, and that is LiAngelo. As of today, March 27th, LiAngelo Ball has declared for the draft. Obviously, you guys know he plays in Lithuania. I don't want to pronounce the name of the team because I will definitely butcher it, but I'll try anyway. Vitalis Parethu. You done messed up! I, I butchered it you know put in the comments down below how bad I butchered it but anyway going to the LiAngelo Ball LiAngelo Ball obviously declared for the draft he's coming in from Lithuania playing overseas and his stats look pretty mad to me I mean 15 points a game he's only played nine games uh three points per three pointers made in the game usually are three his field goal percentage is 45 from three-point land, but 44 from the field, the rest of the field. So it's not looking too good, and he doesn't even average an assist a game. And that's the thing I think is really going to screw him over is because he does not only does he not average at least, you know, a couple assists a game, he doesn't even average more rebounds per game. And obviously his brother is a lot better, even though I think maybe LiAngelo might have like a better, more uh, conventional shot. LiAngelo is not going to make the NBA anytime soon i'm sorry liangelo i want to i want to see the family succeed but at this time i just don't see it right now you've only played about nine games obviously i know that you've been training i obviously think that that's probably more of why you went to lithuania so you could get away from the stuff even though i've watched a couple of the previews of the episodes and i see that you've gotten tattoos and all this other stuff that is probably more distracting than actually playing the game of ball so i don't know what the thing is with liangelo will he get drafted will he not get drafted unless it's part of lonzo ball stimulus package like if lonzo ball put that in his contract like hey you have to sign my brother then i don't think that liangelo is probably going to make a team it'd be interesting to see if he makes a g league team maybe a g league team picks him up and says you know what i like your shot i think your shot's pretty good let's see if we can just develop you into a spot shooter and maybe you can have some sort of talent in the nba later on the line but as a prospect going in, a first rounder or a second round pick, I just don't see it. I mean, I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. And I'm, and I'm, I'm it's not like I don't want to see anyone succeed. I want to see LiAngelo succeed. But right now, I think he needs more time to develop. So you probably should send him to the G League. He probably should have stayed at college at UCLA. But that's either here nor there. And, you know, LeVar Ball always has a plan. We'll see what this plan is. And I'm curious to see how he's going to get out of this one and get his son onto an NBA team, whether by the draft or whether it's just by 
going through the G League and going that route. And really, the only thing that he has going for him is that his true shooting percentage is 59%, and his efficiency field goal rating is 56 or 57% if you want to round it up. But to be honest, in that league, the the amount of talent in that league compared to the college game, compared to you know playing in the first division of their own Lithuanian league, it should be a lot higher in my opinion. I think you know Leangelo should be averaging at least 30 a game with five assists and you know four or three rebounds a game but obviously that's not the case he hasn't been playing as many games like i said he's only played nine and only started in four so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with leangelo obviously you know it's the middle child lavar said that he didn't really have that much high hopes in him obviously lavar ball knows that his two main sons that are probably going to be nba prospects if they you know develop right is going to be Lamelo and lonzo more likely lonzo i think will be the long-term solution for just being the best brother out of the three but who knows i mean like i said they could prove me wrong who knows but anyway guys this has been your boy bernie here bringing you the nba news and rumors on the charge and like i said this is just some lavar lonzo liangelo Lamelo, the ball family the bbb brand talk just giving you guys the latest update in basketball news for them and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of liangelo will he make a team will he not make a team or do you think that he should go to the G League or see if he can beg to get on UCLA, even though I don't think he can since he went pro? But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Bernie here, bringing you the latest news and rumors. Remember to hit that like button and also share this video with people that love basketball and people that are big baller brand uh, enthusiasts. So share this video with them and also remember to hit that sub button. Get us on the road to 200. Let's get 200 and then we'll go up to 1K. Anyway, guys, peace.